kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part six of my video series on video player in background with uh, Exo Player using Android Studio. Okay, guys, if you are following my videos from part one, then you uh, you have uh, done the uh, displaying the videos uh, activity. So we have done with the help of the Recycler View adapter, and we are able to display all the videos inside our application okay so now the next step is now we need to create another activity that will be the video player activity okay so it will be the main activity or you can say very important activity for our application because it will be used to display the or play the videos okay so we have to use the exo player but before that let's create a new activity so before that let's create a new package here so uh, I am also teaching you like how you have to organize your project okay so you can see that I have different packages uh, for the adapters all the classes will be inside this adapter then we have the models uh, package then we I am also going to create the activities package so that you don't uh, have to search for your file so if you want to have if you want to open any adapter file so you only need to go to adapter and you can easily open it okay so th that is very important to organize your project so here we can create new activity and we can say empty activity and from there empty activity we can rename it as video player activity and you have to just uh, click on finish and yes now the activity is created and we need to import the resource okay so here we have the video player activity and now we will have the exo player here but we i think we did not uh, integrate the exo player okay so we already have the exo player okay so we no need to add the dependency as we have already done it so now we need the on click listener for our uh, videos because we have shown all the videos inside our activity and now if we click on any of the video so the video will be played inside our video player activity so the basic idea is uh, when we display all the videos inside our activity then we have the model for each or you can say item okay let's say we have uh 10 videos then we will have video 1 video 2 video 3 video 4 okay so we have access to all the videos and and their data so if we want to open the first video so it will be at the index 0 and we will have its uri we have its uh, path and we have its the name or the or the title and we have the extension okay so we have all the data so we need to open the video player uh, by sending the video uri to our next activity okay so that's what we are going to do in this video so here you can see okay so there is another concept here that i want to teach you is that how you can use the on click listener inside your adapter okay so we are using or we are dealing with the recycler view with the help of adapter and there we have the adapter here but now what we will do is we need to use the set on click listener but uh, it, it is very important that you don't write a as much code in your adapter rather you should draw write your code inside your activity class okay so you have to you have to uh, keep in mind that you need to write as much code as possible inside the activity not in the adapter so we are going to do the same because it's the professional approach so now we need to use item view dot set on click listener then we can say new on click listener all right so there we have the on click listener here and there now we can easily fetch the on click item like which item the user has clicked so how can we do that so here we can say we need to create the object because we have to fetch the object from here single object so since our model is the video model so we can say video model video model equal to and we can get array list 
videos dot get and there we have the method get adapter position okay so now we have the video model so let's say if we if the user clicked on first video then all the video data will be inside this video model so what we are going to do is we are now going to write the code inside our main activity all right because we don't want to write the code inside this video uh, adapter so how we can do that so let's say okay so here we have the get duration here method now we can write the method public void uh, we can say open video player activity okay and here inside this argument we only since we only need the uri but we can send the whole object okay so if we want to send the whole object so make sure that you implement it with serializable implement serializable and there now we can easily fetch the so we can say video model video model and here all right so now what we are going to do is we are only need to uh, use the intent to open our activity so we can say intent intent equal to new intent and there we can say main activity dot this and then we can say video player activity dot class and there we can uh, send the uri to our next activity so for that we can say intent dot put extra and we can say video uri and then we can say video model dot get video uri and that's how we do that and then we can easily say start activity and we can pass the intent here so now you know that we have created the uh, method inside our activity rather than we did not write the code inside the video adapter all right so here when so now we need to access this method inside our video adapter class so how we can do that so this is the way so here we can say we need to write the class of our main activity then we can say context sorry guys this is a uh, dot context dot and there we can write this method open player video player activity and there we are now going to send the video model so simply we can say video model that's it all right so that's how you open the video player activity here so now we have sent the video uri to our uh, video player activity now we need to receive the values inside our uh, activity so for that we can go to our video player activity then we can say uri video uri and then we can say intent intent equal to get intent and from this intent we can say if intent okay so inside our intent so we can say if intent is not equal to null then we can uh, what we can say is we can fetch the uri so for the uri we can say string uri str equal to and we can say intent dot get string 
extra and from there we can say video uri and then we can simply say video uri equal to uri dot parse and there we can say uri str all right so that's how we have received the uri inside our activity okay guys so i think that is enough for this video so in our next part of the video i mean the part 7 we will start coding for our exo player so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye